welcome to Cosmetic Networks Live, where we explore the aesthetic and the cosmetic industry from the inside out. Hi, I'm your host, Sheila Maitland, and this is episode 38 for Friday, September 27th, 2013. We have a very special guest with us today, Dr. Simon Orion. He is a cosmetic dermatologist and an artist. Welcome, Dr. Orion. Thank you so much. It's great to have you and be here with you. Oh, we're so glad you're here. I am really excited to learn definitely about your expertise um, in your cosmetic dermatology industry, but let's start our, off with your passion about your art, art and how you got involved with that and what inspired you in your art. Well, when I was a kid, I, I always was attracted to painting and sculpting and things like that, and probably around the age of 14, 15, I um, concentrated most of my studies and most of my passion towards sculpting and painting. Uh, in college, I was again more and more drawn and focused my attention to sculpting and painting and in fact all throughout my teenage years and in my early, uh, probably even before I got into medical school, I thought I was going to become a sculptor because that is something that I had a passion for and I got really, really good at it because the fact that something you like, you become good at it eventually. Um, fortunately, I found also another passion, which was medicine, and uh, I went to get my nose job when I was 18 or 19, and I realized that the doctor who was doing the perf performing the nose jobs was also an artist. So I realized that I could actually do what he does and be very good at it and follow the path of medicine, which is exactly 10 years later, I wasn't doing exactly what he was. Uh, after I got, I got into medical school and I got out and still started to continue with arts of medicine and art of sculpting at the same time. Wow, that is a great story. So your inspiration came from your own personal experience when you were young with your nose. Yeah, I, when I was growing up, I probably after, after I reached puberty, my nose started to ch change and I got into sports and my nose got hit from different angles and it was a lot more different than I had was used to, and I realized with the, I was I was looking to do something about it because I was very introverted. Didn't know, didn't, couldn't make friends, and I thought it's probably because of my nose. And um, I saw a few of my friends who had gotten a nose job, and I thought if I do it, probably it will be okay. My parents were very much against it. Uh, my parents were very conservative, so at that point I kind of had to sneak into the doctor's office when I turned 18 and go get the nose job. And it really literally changed my life for better. Um, I became more, I became less shy, I was able to go out and make friends and, and I thought perhaps what I felt inside was showing on my outside on my face and that really changed my outlook about life and how to relate to people. And as I realized a very small thing could change one person's life so easily, I thought I could do the same thing for a lot of different people and my, I changed the direction of my life to the path of cosmetic dermatology. That is so awesome and I hear these types of stories where people walk down their path of life and not knowing that something that happens to them that is so awesome changes their entire direction yes. and inspires them forever. Correct, yeah. That's really great. So let's talk a little bit more about um, the type of art that you do. I know you're a sculptor, so what kind of sculpting do you do? Um, I've done all types of sculpting, but um, generally in the past probably five to ten years, I do mostly busts and faces and portraits of the uh, three-dimensional portraits of um, bodies and faces, and um, it is called the, real, the realistic approach of the facial um, sculpting. And my anatomy studies and my studies in medical school helped me kind of fine-tune my art and as a sculptor. And um, I do all types of mediums using clay or sometimes marble, sometimes different types of stones, limestone. But generally speaking, most of my work is done with either clay or um, sometimes bronze and different types of mediums, and depending on how much time I have and how much time I want to dedicate to a project. I've had a 